Hello, I'm India Amatevio. And I am Golda Rochevel. And we are here for Harper's Bazaar in Queen Charlotte's actual cottage, Kew Gardens. So, India. Hello. How did you feel when you found out that you were joining the Bridgerton universe? Terrified, but also extremely ready. Um, I'd seen the show, yeah. So I, I knew, you know, the weight that it that it held, um, and I knew how important Queen Charlotte was to so many people that I'd watched it. Yeah. Um, but I was just so excited to to jump on, and I'd heard that filming was really exciting yeah. from lots of people in the industry. That yeah, it's they a had good set, really isn't it? And yeah, it's yeah. Some really friendly people. Yeah. It's a loving, kind family set. Very nice. And where were you? when you found out that you've got the role? I was in the shower. Were you? I was in the shower, my little <laughs> right. bonnet cap on, ready for um, a nice steam. And then I got a, a call from my agent um, and I answered it. And then I ran downstairs in my towel. Oh my God, that's so amazing. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. brilliant, brilliant. Fun fact. There we go. She was clean when she found Pre out. Pre-clean. 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 But then I was clean, I promise. I did yeah. shower. <laughs> yeah. I promise you. I probably know your answer, mm. but were you expecting Bridgerton to kind of take over the world um, no. as it did? No. Not at all? I don't think you ever do. You hope that people love your work mm -hmm. and kind of get it and really enjoy it. Um, but all you can do is kind of put it out there and see what happens. I think the show holds a lot more weight than just the show. Yeah. You know, you've got such interesting themes and important topics that you guys challenge. Um, and yeah, Shonda is very brazen and very unapologetic. So. Yeah, and the characters are very kind of relatable as well. And I think that's sure. the reason why you kind of think that it's really normal and mm. great and easy to film, you know, and the scripts are so easy that they just kind of come off the page. Well, you know, yeah. How did you feel when they kind of broached the idea of doing a, a spin-off of Queen Charlotte? I mean, thrilled, yeah. obviously, and um, for, you know, Chandra and Netflix to kind of go, yeah, there's something a little bit more that we want to mm. find in this character that people, people love. Yeah. You know, and I think it's, it's helpful that she is not in the books, that she was placed into the world of Bridgerton from a historical standpoint to kind of yep. uh, root the world in a period. Mm -hmm. So, my love, to yes. prepare for the role. Yes. What kind of shit did you do? I uh, messaged you. Yes. We had tea outside. Came here, actually, with Shonda and Tom and Corey. Um, just to look around and yeah. to get a feel of what it was like. You know, and how did you here. feel? Being here, yeah, it made it real. Real. Because I was then connecting to a person and not yeah, a character. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then forgot it all because it's Shonda's world. That's right. Um, yeah. So it's really important to kind of know who she was, but not to let that kind of overtake. It's the world of the scripts, isn't it? That exactly. you kind of dive into. Exactly. Because it is a fictional world that we're sure. living in. And that I'm a real advocate for you know, not holding on to this role, it's not mine. You know, yes, I created it. I was gonna say you created it. Giving, but giving it over to you to be able to really run with it and mm. make it your own, mm. you know? Well, I you, think that yeah. was really important. I felt that from say. You. Why do we think that we are so popular with people? Um, besides, you know, incredible acting, mm, incredible you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I think the, the topics and the um, the social issues that Bridgerton covers are just so prevalent in society now. Yeah. Um, even though it's a period drama, people can still relate to the conversations and the feelings that the characters are going yeah. through. But then on top of that, it just looks amazing. Yeah. Bridgerton is just beautiful to watch. Yeah. And is such, you know, especially in 2020 lockdown, such a good bit of escape. We needed it, didn't we? For sure. We needed something we that needed was just gonna, you know, escapism. take everyone out of, of whatever place that yeah. they were in. Hair and makeup and mm. costume. Yeah. How important is it to you in your process? 
It's really, really important. Yeah. And I've kind of made it important because it takes so long. Oh my God. Once I'm up and in it and you stand in front of that mirror, it's like, yeah. I'm her. Yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of like an armor. Completely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It really, you know, gives you how she's going to stand, how she's going to walk. Mm -hmm. The weight is really interesting. Yeah. You know, because you've got weight on your head and yeah. on the hips as well. Yeah, completely. So I kind of, before I get on set, set I do a kind of walk around so I know how, what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a full on major thing. Yeah. I, I think also as well, it's so important for us as actors to be so kind of to dissociate and to detach from ourselves. Yeah. And yes. part of this job, the reason why I loved it and I felt like I could really dive into her is because I didn't recognize myself in the mirror. Yeah. Like she was her own character. And then, you know, at the end of the day, I took my 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 wig off and my yeah. makeup and I was me again. And it just it just made it, you know, it made me feel like I was becoming a different person. James Fleet is extraordinary. He plays oh, the King George. Elder King George. Mm -hmm. Working with him is always divine. My King George, Corey Mulcreast, um, made the job for me. Um, yeah, again, you just, guys have such a great chemistry. He, he's just great. He's just easy to get along with. Yeah. What do you think is going to be surprising for Bridgerton fans about Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story? The fact that she doesn't start out the way that we see her in Bridgerton. Mm. There's such a journey. She yeah, comes, you know, she really becomes herself. And unsurprisingly, maybe the love between George and Charlotte and, yeah. and where that stemmed from and just seeing, you know, them interact pre what we see in Bridgerton. The connection between Charlotte and George was my number one mm -hmm. uh, kind of need and push to relay to yeah. people because that's the most important thing that I carry in, Brid in Bridgerton. Yeah. And it's always there in every single scene. I try to layer that in. Yeah. I try to have a thought of him, mm. you know, at the ball or talking to Danbury, having tea or, you know, whatever it is, I always try and find a thought of him. Yeah. Kind of to reiterate what I said and what you've said, just how important it is um, for one to see themselves represented now. And, you know, that this show will open doors for so many different people, not just the people on screen, but behind the scenes. Exactly. Um, which Brilliant. was yeah. another great thing about working on the job. Everyone that was working on the show um, were from every kind of background, of yeah. you know. Yeah, 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 we yeah. had people that were in it for like 40 years, people yeah. that had, you know, this was their first job. Um, and yeah, just to make, working life and being an actor just that more happy and, and, and a positive experience, you know. Good vibes equals good show, I think.